This is just a small reminder to, and I'll, I'll come back to the parents now, a small reminder for myself and for all of us, us parents, that the children we've been given to us so we can control them, the more we try to control them, the more frustrated we become anyway. And the more, I have seen this, especially in families that wanted to preserve the deen of their children, the more they try to push the religion on their children with control, the more those children rebelled in the strangest ways. In the strangest ways. Because the thing that Allah wants to give, the, the opportunity you have with your children is not to make them surrender to your instructions. The opportunity you have with them is to make them think about things that only you can make them think about. Make them love things only you can make them love. Your kid loves basketball because he sees you play basketball. He loves the PlayStation because he sees dad play the PlayStation. You can put a love in your child because of how you are. You can do that. And when you tell your kid, do your homework, do your homework, your kid is not going to be 40 years old and say, I love homework. But your kid could be 40 years old and say, I love basketball. My dad used to play all the time, loved it. What you love gets transferred over. What you instruct gets rejected. That's your reality. Forget your children. That's your own reality. The things, some of the things you love about your dad are the things that were passed down by love. And some of the things you hate about your dad are the things that he tried to shove down your throat. That's the reality of everyone sitting here.